Get the sink here, Richard. All right, perfect. Good. Well, I got a chance to peek around down here, and you are in luck. You've got a washer and dryer down here, so it means we've got hot and cold water, which is great. We've got a washing machine standpipe right here. Now, this standpipe comes down here and goes down into our drain. Now, at this point, the water goes down into the drain. From at this point and above, though, this pipe is a vent, and that's a really good thing. We often don't see this in basement applications. What's a vent do? Well, without that vent, this drain would gurgle. So what happens is it breaks the vacuum so that water will go down the drain. So it's a really good thing that it's there. One thing I did notice, this drain is about 26 inches off the ground. Now, when I look over here at this set tub, this is what? About 18 inches, okay? Now, if I just cut a fitting like this, mm -hmm. just a little bit lower down at 18, now technically from this point to this point is no longer a vent because there's a drain coming in above it. So what I've got to do is modify all this piping lower. Now we're going to cut the pipe. There you grab that. Now in order to get our Y fitting to be able to accept the drain from both sides, the washer and the utility sink, I need to add these 45 degree angle fittings to turn it to horizontal. Now, the mark you made right here references the center of the drain coming from our utility sink. Now, I've added that line to this pipe right here, and I've, I've extended that line over here. So we need to line this line with that, and at the bottom is where we cut it, and we have to allow for the pipe to fit inside of that fitting, and that mark would be right there. The PVC saw is made just for this, just steady, pull back and forth, try and keep it as level as you can too. Here you go, let the saw do the work. Okay. All right, now we're going to get rid of this TY, and we're going to connect onto this vent using a coupling. So you can cut any way you want right up in here. And that with that knife, just deburr the inside of the pipe. You want to get rid of all the shavings from the cutting. Good. Now, here's our double Y fitting. Now, I'm going to dry fit everything. But now, I've got a pipe right here that's in the way. So, in order to get around that, I can actually spin this 45, and I can add another one right over here. And that'll allow me to bring my washing machine drain in right here. And on this side, I can put a 90 degree bend, and that's my drain from the utility sink. And now I'm going to measure this piece right here. All right, so here's our piece that's going to go from a double Y. Now, to make up this last connection, they make a special coupling called a slip coupling, also called a repair coupling. So this can come right down, bring this together, and then bring it right back up again. Now, the purpose of dry fitting is to be sure that it all fits together and the angles are correct. So just make a series of witness marks or reference marks. These lines are going to help us recreate everything perfectly when we glue it all together. All right, first we need to clean it. Take the purple can right there, clean the vertical, sticking up. All right, so now we're ready to glue it. And apply it to the outside of the pipe and the inside of the fitting. Push it down, push it down all the way. Hold it for a four count. Yeah, that should do it, good. Okay. All right, well, our waste and vent is pretty much done. Here's our washing machine standpipe coming right down into the double Y and down the drain. Here's our drain from the utility sink going into the same double Y, and we've connected back into our vent. But before we put that utility sink into place, I really want to think about doing the supply of water, too. Okay. So right above here, we've got a hot and a cold supply lines. So shut off valve for the hot that I'm going to turn off. It looks like there's a ball valve right above your head, so turn that 90 degrees. Okay. All right, good. So now I want to make sure there's no water in the pipe. I'm going to break these connections. All right. Just grab that bucket, Matt, would you? Okay. All right, under here. See if there's any water. Good. All right, we'll keep the bucket there because I might get a little bit of water when I cut the pipes. Okay. You know, Matt, I want to move this washing machine valve over here, so why don't you take the screwdriver and undo these two large screws so we can get at the ones behind. 
I pull the valve straight off, okay? Is that Phillips screws? Yep. So now with the water out of the pipe, I can unsolder these connections. All right, Matt, we have unsoldered those two elbows and replaced them with T's. These are all cleaned and fluxed. And here's our hot and cold going down to our utility sink. Now this is your old washing machine valve. This has a lever that turns on and off so you don't have pressure on the hoses when you're not using them. This is pretty old, so while I'm here, I'm gonna replace that for you. I'm ready to solder this washing machine valve, but before I do, I wanna protect these gaskets right here. So I'm gonna remove them and then solder it. Here's the sink, Richard. All right, great. Now we've already attached our faucet. This faucet actually has a pull-out hand spray. And you can see the hose right here. When you flip it back here, you can see there's a counterweight to keep that hand spray inside the spout. We've got a hot and cold lav supplies already attached. And underneath, we've already mounted our trap. And here's our last piece of PVC pipe. Now over here, we've soldered in our hot and cold shutoff valve, and we're ready to make our final PVC connection. So why don't you bring the sink in? All right. A little tight squeeze back here, making these final connections. All right, time to clean our last connection, both the pipe and inside the fitting. All right, final glue connection. All right, just snug up those washing machine hoses onto the washing machine valve. Good. All right, and with that washing machine valve off, I'm now gonna turn on the hot water line. All right, Matt, why don't you reach up and turn on the cold. All right, good, that's on. Let me put on the washing machine valve. All right, you do the honors, Matt. All right, let's test this thing out. All right, look at that. You sound surprised. Ah, oh, I'm not surprised at all, Richard. I'm gonna clean up, though. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. <laughs>